you are still not sure how to do this. So in this lesson, I'm going to show you retouching tools and just how to use them. Maybe not how to use them because in the next lesson I'm going to use them, but I'm going to show you the retouching tools we're going to use doing our retouch. Of course, the most basic retouching tool and for me actually the best is healing brush tool it's very soft it doesn't affect the texture of the skin that much so healing brush tool is something we use the most other very similar is spot healing brush tool which is very good if you have some of the small spots we don't have to take a clone all the time over and over because spot healing brush tool just adjusts the color to the next to the most suitable area if you want to cover uh, really small spots, it adjusts the colors to the area next to this spot. So it's probably the most easiest, not always good, because sometimes we have spots we have to use healing brush tool and we have to take a crown on our own, but spot healing brush tool is really easy and I highly recommend you if you have some uh, very simple spots to remove. Other tool, which is in the same set, is a patch tool. There is not actually enough information about patch tool, I think, on the web, because most of the people is using just healing brush tool. But if you have some of the big spots to remove, there's no reason to use healing brush tool or clone stamp tool, because patch tool actually works fantastic for this. It's just going to cover your spot, the big area you want to cover, by the texture from the next area to this you're going to choose on your own, so you can very easily adjust this for your project. So these three tools over here we're going to use. Other tool is brush tool, but usually brush tool is only to even out the tones of the skin and it's not really such a retouching tool. But the tool you probably know is clone stamp tool. We're going to use this very often and uh, maybe not that often as healing brush tool, but pretty much similar. It's super powerful tool, very basic, but for the hair retouch is actually probably the best tool you can use because some in few areas you cannot use healing brush tool and then you have to use cross stamp tool so it's the most powerful but for some areas probably four of the hair for the retouching background which is very simple when you have very simple background is just the best tool to use and the common mistake is that Many people find a favorite tool, for example, someone find healing brush tool the favorite and do all of the job by one tool. Photoshop made few different retouching tools because the tools have different destinations. So don't choose just clone stamp tool or healing brush tool and do all of your job by this tool. I recommend you to use different kind of tools for different kind of tasks and this task I'm going to show you in this course. So you're going to know which tool is the best for different kind of task. So that's our basic retouching tools and as we know this right now we can start finally doing our basic retouch. In this lesson I'm going to show you the first thing I'm doing with the retouch. So let's zoom this uh, quite much and as you can see I zoom on the big spots over here. And the first tool I'm using, the first thing I'm, I usually do with the image, I'm finding the biggest spots because it's the easiest way to remove them. So we should start from the things that are the most visible, that are the biggest, and then go into smaller things. And the tool I'm going to use is of course patch tool. No, at first I'm not using here in brush tool, not clone stamp tool, but patch tool. For some of the tasks, patch tool is really amazing and it's a bit underrated tool. So I'm going to duplicate this original layer because the thing we have to do patch to only work on the real image. So we have to work on the layer which contains our image. So I'm going to press Ctrl or Command and J to duplicate this and just call this patch tool. So this even more. And the thing I'm doing I'm just doing a selection around the spot I want to remove and then drag this to find the texture that is suitable for this area. As you can see, 
it's just perfect, it's very suitable for this, and we cannot notice the thing when we did this, so that's actually the best method to do such a things. Don't do too big selections, because it's not helpful, and if you going to do selections which will be too big, it won't be really nice. So, small selections around the spots, and as you can see, just amazing, and it's probably the best tool to remove such a things. If you're going to use different kind of tool, uh, for example, if you would use healing brush tool or clone stamp tool, trust me, you could notice the areas you did this. And by using patch tool, it's actually impossible. And of course, we have some of them really not nice areas which will be difficult and we will be working a bit more later on it with the tones we have to adjust the tones in this area for sure we have to work with the colors because it doesn't look really well but for now just to remove the spots you don't want i believe there was not enough makeup that's why it might look like this So it takes some time, but it's quite quick, so I'm not going to speed up this video, just going to do this very quick, so you can see all of the process. Let's go to the forehead on the nose, we actually have one bigger spot as you can see, few spots. The small spots I'm not doing, of course, by patch tool. It's not really comfortable and it won't look that great. But just the areas you see you can do, you should do by patch tool. Okay, right now. I'm just going down to the neck and I don't like these little black spots if they would be a bit more characteristic, if they would be a bit bigger I would think about leaving them but I don't think they are suitable to the destination of this image so that's why I decided to remove it Okay, so that was our basic step, as you can see, not that many things to do. Usually by patch tool there we don't do too much, just the big spots as I did. Maybe I could find few more areas I could do this, but it's not actually necessary, because we want to do something fast, so we do this till the point we can keep our speed. This spot, as you can see, it's too big and too visible. So I have to find really good area to replace this. Right now it looks better. Of course, don't worry if you do any mistake. You can just easily do a step back. It's nothing wrong. So that's the first step I do. That was before and that was after. So, okay, we finished with uh, that basic, maybe very basic retouch using patch tool. And now the thing might got a bit more complicated, not in this course, because in this course I want to do everything very clear so you can know how to work in the future. However, you will notice that nothing wrong will happen if you work at this point will become a bit messy with your retouch. Right now, there will be few things to remove. When we zoom this image in, you can notice we have a lot of these very small spots. So for sure we have to remove them. I'm going to remove them um, mostly right now. Some correction I'm going to keep for frequency separation, which you may be heard of. And the other thing is we have to remove, and it's good to remove this right now, are these hair. 
the first I'm going to remove from the face and second we have to remove them from the background part about this layer so there's two tools very useful for it and the first tool of course is healing brush tool which works perfect for such a small spot so that's the first thing we're going to use it's healing brush tool for small spots you can use other tools, spot healing brush tool as well, it's nothing wrong to use this and healing brush tool as well we're going to use to remove mostly for the facial stray hair sometimes we can use a clone stamp tool, clone stamp tool is especially great for the background and works average if we work on the face because there's a lot of tones so we don't want to change the tones, we don't want to destroy it, so that's why mostly I'm using healing brush tool, but in some areas, probably over here, I could use clone stamp tool, etc. So we can mix this, I'm going to separate such a things uh, and explain you if I'm going to start something new, but for now I'm going to show you how does it work. So I have to create new layer and I'm just going to call this maybe basic retouch one. just for now and on this layer I will be working just with all of the spots on the face and of the hair uh, I could actually separate every single step but it doesn't have doesn't really matter and you know if we create every separate layer for every separate thing it's going to become messy so this layer will be for the small spots and for the stray hair from the face and of course from the from the hair because we have to sort it out but I'm going to do a break when I got to this point of course so when we work on such a new layer I made this new layer here remember to select sample all layers if you have only current layer it doesn't work for you so it has to be selected all layers and of course it's hard edged brush usually you can change this for the hair and for some areas if it doesn't work if you have very um, typical background with a lot of tones it's good to change softness a bit and how does it work I'm going to take a clone from the area next to it as you can see I had current layer right now I didn't notice okay so I'm going to take a clone from the area next to it and as you can see I'm painting and I'm covering it I'm going to show you how that works spot healing brush tool it works very similar and the great thing for such a simple spot we actually don't have to take a clone all the time so for very easy texture like this one I would recommend you to use this because there's nothing like it's less professional only because of the fact we don't have to take a stamp but it's actually so much better because it's a very uh, smart tool it's going to take a clone from the area next to it from the area which is most suitable and sometimes it can deal even better with small spots than healing brush tool so that's how I'm doing this as you can see I will be using this uh, two tools mostly for the face I'm not using for the face clone stamp tool for such a small spots I always use healing brush tool mostly because it just works better it's not so destructive our clone stamp tool clone stamp tool can give you some not really nice areas so that's how I do this and it works really amazing and the other thing I want to show you of course I will be working with healing brush tool when I have such a small hair like this a lot of people using clone stamp tool I just don't think it's necessary so how I do this just have a look very simply and I'm removing this and the effect is very natural I don't think the spot healing brush tool can work so well with this so as you can see the better choice the best choice actually for this is healing brush tool which can very easily remove the hair you don't want of course do this careful 
and don't be afraid to zoom this quite much to see everything very clear as you can see it's super easy thing to do so that's how does it work I'm just going to remove few hair to show you but of course I'm not going to remove everything because there is a lot of job that needs to be done so it's going to take a while so I'm going to speed up this video and show you the time lapse from this in the next lesson which is going to be much better of course not only here but here around the eye we have a lot of spots we have to remove a lot of this um, hair with makeup uh, all of this imperfection has to be done and the best thing uh, for it will be as I said here in brush tool so let me speed up this video as you can see here uh, between the eyes we have a lot of things so if I would do this uh, and talk to you at the same point it probably would take me around one hour and you know it's not necessary and we actually don't want this because we want to done a uh, job very quick and you want to have a great course so right now I'm going to speed up this video I'm going to use mostly healing brush tool as I said to remove all of these spots and then I'm going to talk to you once again to show you what I've done so far and if I get any specific points I'm going to explain you this how it was done so right now I'm going to speed up this video and I'm going to talk to you very soon in a few minutes